Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for joining us again on today's another edition of our uh, daily updates from this end. I'm presenting to you a book, a book uh, on the history of uh, Southern Cameroons. And uh, this book was written and published by an eyewitness, somebody who was present during the February 1961 plebiscite uh, that had to, uh, you know, cause us what we find today. It is somebody who is, you know, giving a direct account of everything that happened. Who is this person? Uh, John Percival. John Percival is or was uh, an anthropologist, a writer, a broadcaster with uh, the BBC, and uh, he has been on so many uh, TV and radio programs on the BBC. And unfortunately, he had to pass away in 2005. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, John Percival was one of those people who were supervisors. He was a supervisory officer in 1961 in the plebiscite that took place in Southern Cameroon in uh, February 1961. This book is very, very important. This book is very, very important. You can check it out and you will see how uh, the destiny of a people was being manipulated. And of course, we really say that destiny can be delayed but it can never be denied. John Percival is giving uh, a vivid and a more detailed account of everything that happened in uh, February 1961. Unlike what people will say, according to reports they hear from others, people will publish books according to what they carry out by research. This particular book by John Percival is giving a direct account when we say an eyewitness is somebody who was on the spot. During that period, John Percival was a student and uh, he was being sent to Southern Cameroon as a young officer uh, to supervise the privacy. And you should, of course, know that uh, the British, they left uh, Southern Cameroonians with an option which was not friendly uh, in, uh, to say the least, ladies and gentlemen, the people of Southern Cameroon were given just two options. It is, of course, uh, John Percival is uh, titling this book uh, A Choice or a Betrayer, you know, Choice or a Betrayer, because it is, of course, we can, there, there, there is no other way for us to put it other than betrayer. It's a betrayer because the people of Southern Cameroon were ripe and ready and fit enough to manage their resources, to take care of themselves, and why not? live as a people with their unique identity. But this particular uh, opportunity was snatched away by the crooked and uh, mafia uh, plebiscy that took place in February 1961. Two options being given to the people of Southern Cameroon. Either uh, you join, either you join the, 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 the Federal Republic of Nigeria, uh, or we join La Republic to Cameroon, who was already independent. Come on, who does that? Nobody gained independence by joining another. The third option was snatched away. That was the option for independence. And the people of Southern Cameroon, according to this book, I recommend this book to you so you can, you, can, you should buy and watch, uh, sorry, and read. You really buy this book. And if you read this book, my dear brother, my dear sister, my dear comrade, you will know exactly series of events that took place in 1961, which are of utmost importance to us. We bring these things to you because our history will not only be written, or our history will not only, only be considered history when we say it by ourselves, but when what others have written, what people, eyewitness account, people who were present during the plebiscy, they are saying that the people were never given the third option and the people of Southern Cameroon did not like either option. They didn't like either option. How can a people who left from a democratic government, a Endele 
was prime minister, Foncha, prime minister. How can, how did we left from a government, a country that was already ripe to govern and manage itself and move into, to joining another country in the name of independence. That's not possible, my dear uh, viewers. Uh, you should know that as well, the people of uh, British uh, Northern Cameroons, they were also given the opportunity to either join Nigeria or join the Republic of Cameroon, and they chose to join uh, Nigeria. And meanwhile, the people of British Southern Cameroon, you and I, were asked to join uh, Nigeria or the Republic of Cameroon, which we, we went uh, the other way uh, as far as our brothers in Northern Cameroon are concerned. However, this particular uh, event has been the root cause of what we have today that is happening in Southern Cameroon. It is the root cause of all the problems we are having today in Southern Cameroon that the people who left from the enjoyed democracy, they left from a system where they saw accountability, where they saw development, where they saw uh, equal management, equal treatment of their citizens. There was nothing like intimidation. There was every avenue for people to excel they were being subjugated they were being forced to join a system that was very corrupt that was built on assimilation because the french were using the policy of assimilation we, we don't know anything in that form ladies and gentlemen if you are just watching us for the first time we are talking about the book that was written or that uh, was published by John Percival. John Percival is, you can check it, please. You can check that. He is, of course, uh, the supervisory officer for uh, the 11, for February two, 1961 play visit that took place in Southern Cameroon. John Percival is the uh, supervisory officer for the play visit that took place in 1961 in Southern Cameroon. And it is, of course, a very important book that he published. You know, people can give accounts and they can fade away, but books will never fade away because we will read it and it will go down into our history. This is a very important book. I am calling on you watching right now that please make an effort to read this book. If you can buy it, you buy it and get to know and the history of the people of Southern Cameroon, it is very, very important. It is very, very important. I repeat, John Percival is uh, the author of this book. Unfortunately, he is of blessed memory. But I think the book, his, his account, will give a very deep uh, picture of what happened in 1961 the people of Southern Cameroon. And from the book, we are getting, you know, highlights that it seemed to be uh, a master plan of betrayal of the people of Southern Cameroon by the British government. Yes, by the British government, because the option of independence was never put on the table. And from what John Percival wrote, it's indicating that the people of British uh, for, uh, Southern Cameroons were not happy with either option. So they were forced into following the path which they followed, which Foncha led them into uh, La Republic du Cameroon. And before Foncha also, before Foncha also passed away, he did leave a video explaining exactly his frustrations with the so-called uh, living together, cohabitation with La Republic du Cameroon. These are things that we should be saying them. So people should know we are a people with a history. We have a history and this history is what makes us who we are. And we must correct this history unless this history is being corrected, unless things are being put on the right track. This problem will never be solved. To get a permanent political solution it is to, to complete the incomplete decolonization 
of 1961. There is no way you can ask a people to be independent by joining another. It's not possible. It has never been done in any country in this world. That is exactly what we are talking about. The likes of Atanganji Paul, the likes of La Republic to Cameroon ministers and all, all of them, they can sing and shout they are one and indivisible, one and indivisible Cameroon, whatever, but it will not change the fact that the people of Southern Cameroon, they have a history. And this history is what makes us who we are. Please, ladies and gentlemen, dear viewers, it was very necessary that I bring to you this particular book. Please, I would like you to check out uh, if you need the link of this book, the link, uh, maybe you can drop a comment from the comment section. I will send the link for you to, maybe you want to buy the book, you can buy the book and you read. This book was published by uh, John Percival. The author is John Percival. He is, again, I'm saying this for <laughs> another time, John Percival was a supervisory officer at the plebiscite of 1961, of February 1961 in Southern Cameroon. So this book is written or was written by a someone who was present, present in the plebiscite of February 1961. Please do something, make it possible to get this book. You can buy it online. You can buy it online. I just stumbled on it. I said, let me share it to my people so they can read and know exactly these things that uh, is happening to us. People, people may want to thwart our story, but our history can never be hidden. The Republic can try to hide it. They can try to suppress it. They can try to do to use force and everything, but they will never stop a moving train. It is independence or resistance. Thank you very much, and I wish you an excellent time. I'll see you again in our next update. Thank you for watching.